Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for Cancer for October 2020. Um, I will be doing some tarot and some oracle cards. Um, welcome to my page if you've never been on, on here before. Uh, if you have seen my readings before, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. Um, so with the spreads, don't forget time can be fluid. Um, energy is vice versa and if it does resonate please like share and subscribe if it doesn't I mean it's not going to suit every single Cancerian out there it's just a general reading all right let's start so last month was all about making a choice and moving on because there's deception so we'll see I feel like with the weekly readings you may have progressed for most of you so we'll see Cancer for October See, you keep seeing the uh, Emperor card come up. So you're possibly in a controlling situation as well for some of you. Okay, Cancer, October. Wow. Cancer. Oh, there's two cards. Okay, one more. Okay, let me shuffle these and then we'll get into it. The first one I can see though is emotional loss, which is five of cups in reverse. So that's all about self-forgiving, uh, maybe forgive yourself for whatever you let yourself put up with. It's moving on, it's having hope and... and that again so I mean that's the, that's the first card it's getting over the emotional loss then we have truth in reverse which is the same as the judgment card but it's you're not seeing the truth in a situation um, you're not speaking your truth it's about self-doubt um, it's like you're getting over emotional loss but you're still doubting um, yourself and whether you made the right decision um, but also it could be not seeing the truth or speaking the truth either. Um, and you've got two of cups in reverse. So that upright would be soulmates. It's not. It's a breakup. You don't trust the person. Uh, there's no trust in there at all with, with either. It's a misunderstanding as well. But generally it's a breakup and not trusting. Okay. Tell me about that. For cancer. The high priestess is all about intuition and you need to trust yourself because there were secrets, which every single time I've done your reading, it's been the same. You got King of Wands in reverse, which is somebody who's a narcissist. Yeah. They're ruthless, they're a narcissist, you know. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got five of, five of coins, which is all about isolated, being isolated. It's like someone playing the victim. It's, you know, rejection. It's being lonely, going through despair, destitute, financial loss. All those things, like it's so hard for somebody, hardship and you know everything. It's like somebody is playing the victim. Yeah, but somebody's definitely having secrets. Then we've got rest and rejuvenate in reverse, which is uh, you're feeling exhausted. Maybe you're contemplating, you feel burnt out. You feel like you're stuck. You're not really going anywhere. Um, you've got crown chakra. I mean, it's about your connection to the universe. You're not trusting that the universe knows better. And you've got passion ignited, which is like the ace of wands. So that's a fiery start. That's a passionate start. 
it can also be a new opportunity it can be something creative a new job that kind of thing but it's a new start and if it's relate if it's a relationship then it's a fiery you know passionate passionate start so there's you leave this thing behind you get a new passion at the start with somebody let's ask tell me about the passion ace of wands So you've got strength card, which is all about self-love. You know, like you've now gotten past that. You've realized you deserve better. It's all about self-respect, unconditional love, self-love, you know, having the strength to do it, having the courage to do it. You've, you finally look like you've gone, you know what, see you later, block. Then you've got the hangman in reverse, which is um, you stalling and somebody's, resisting changing resisting pushing block they're undecided oh my god should i should i should i not it can also be you're undecided about the new ace of cups uh, ace of one start as well it doesn't mean you have to be undecided about this other person it could be you've got self-worth and now and self-love but you're undecided about this ace of wands um Four of Swords in reverse. It's you've already had this card. Exact same card. Hey, bless me. So, so you need strength. You know, you possibly are undecided about maybe going with this Ace of Wands new beginning. And then you've got the Four of Swords where you, again, where you feel like you're contemplating, you feel like you're kind of stuck, you're not really progressing and maybe you feel exhausted and burnt out. You've got Ten of Wands on the bottom. So that's all about putting up boundaries. So maybe you start this with the new Ace of Wands, but you've got to put up some boundaries. You've got to have, you know, have the strength and the courage to, and, the, and you know, to keep going, persistence to keep going and don't let this other person you know stop you going and getting to know new people you know you've been hurt you've moved on they were not your person and then this is because your spiritual union card is in reverse and then you have got this new fiery start then we have intuition and deception and envy so maybe now you're finally listening to your intuition um it's actually the high priestess card which you've already had so, I mean, there's a lot of confirmations when the same cards are coming out. I mean, it's all about intuition. It's about secrets. Yeah, secrets. You know, I don't know how many times we've we've done your spreads and it keeps on saying there's secrets, there's things you don't know, there's you're the other woman, you know, it's all the same cards every single freaking time. But for some reason you keep continuing with it. Whereas this time you're considering this new new start. But you've got to you've got to know don't go back there trust your intuition um maybe do give this new ace of wands a go deception and envy in reverse it's about self-deceit it's about keeping secrets maybe the deception and envy is now over tell me about the deception and envy cancer Yeah, I mean, you possibly have some inner confusion. You repressed whatever emotions you had. You need to release the, the fear that somebody is going to do it again. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't go through every relationship thinking someone's going to be the same, but they, you know, previously you've, you've accepted the same kind of behavior. Um, and you've got three of cups in reverse, which is about being alone, really having some time alone. It could also be it's you and another person. Maybe that's the secret. So either the secret is with 
the person from before, which we already know about. And as I said, three there's three people at least. There's you, him, her, whatever, whatever the whatever the other person is, plus the other person, the, the third party. Yeah. I want to know. I want to ask. Oh, I hate these shuffling these cards. These cards suck. I love these cards. I just don't like shuffling them, which is probably why I don't use them. Because they just, yeah, they're not great. Are the secrets with the past person? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you've got the star card in reverse, which is about a lack of faith. It's about self-trust issues. It's you're feeling a bit low. It's like you don't trust the universe. You've got temperance, which is um, balance and moderation and patience, harmony, self-control. But you've got the death card. And the death card is about an ending, a big change. It's time to move on. It's transition, work on you, all those things. But it's big, big change. And then this... You go, then you've got the fall, right? And the fall is all about new beginnings and being a free spirit and taking a new path and a new beginning, taking chances and fresh hope. So, you know, like I feel like the, the secrets are with the old the past. So that's good. Um, did I say these already? you got the Knight of Coin on the bottom here. I don't know if I said this one already in reverse, which is about you feeling bored and stuck. And you got the Sun. So you're just feeling down, possibly. But you got the Wheel under that, which is about learning the life cycles and good karma, good fortune, all those things. But something is going to take some time for this situation. And maybe you do feel like you are trapped, but it's in your own head, like it's a self-imposed thing. It's about negative thoughts and and you could self-sabotage this ace of wands because you're too busy focused on this other shit, to be perfectly blunt. Um, and you're not trusting your intuition. So you're going to have movement and choices, you know. It's like you are going to, I, I don't know how many times I can say this with cancer, you are going to miss an opportunity, a passionate new opportunity with somebody new that isn't keeping secrets and being deceitful. You are going to miss that opportunity if you stay with this same past people, person, whatever the situation is. If you don't learn from this and take back your power and block them and learn the lesson that's showing the universe that you have learned. If you don't do that, you're going to keep attracting the same shit and you're also going to miss out on this new new start. I mean, I can only say it so many times. When you complain about being lonely, when you complain about being hurt, you it's because you, you are doing this to yourself. You're not letting go. You are not moving on to this new start. Put yourself out there. Be single and just have fun. Block these, whatever this is, cancer. Yeah, I mean, you've got to persevere. You've got to, you've got to give up. You've got to persevere with your life, and also maybe listen to some music that can help with raising your vibration. You need to do positive things and be positive, um, because I feel like you are not. Um, yeah, you're just you're not gonna you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. That's all I can say. Um, and the person that's coming could be your your twin flame, your person. You know, you've got to have patience, and maybe it's something about kids. I mean, you pretty much have to act like the parent in the situation because that you're in because this they're just idiots. Whatever this whatever this situation is, they're just. 
I don't know. I don't know why you keep staying there. Okay, cancer. Yeah, you got to do something to go and have some fun. Um, and, I mean, we all have our own. Oh, this card keeps coming up. We've all got our own soul journey. It's about learning from the soul journey, isn't it? It's about, um, yeah, you're going to have the courage. You've got to have the courage. You're at a crossroads right now. It's like do something that, yeah, you, f you find fun, but the crossroads, you're at a crossroads. Do I turn left to go to cheater, loyal, you know, cheater, um, liar, uh, bully, a violent, abusive person with, you know, how many girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever baggage, or do I go this way and be with somebody where it's passionate and new and the opposite with without the secrets? I don't know. It's, I can't see why that's a hard decision. You know what I mean? And it's not about not being a nice person. It's got to do with you've got to do what's right for you. And you're going to miss. I can't express that enough. You are going to miss this Ace of Wands if you keep on continuing with this. Cancer. Yeah, you need to reconnect with you. You need to do some self-healing. You need to... Just be by yourself, work on you, get some self-love and all that kind of thing. But you need to break free from the negative attachment, as I said. Block. Um, hidden path. It's about the marriage of spirit and matter. I mean, you've got to be able to trust the universe. You've also got to um, have balance as well. And it's all about healing and creativity, fertility. It's the ocean of eternal love, you know. Yeah, underneath that, you're all feeling confused and lonely. You're getting past that. Maybe because you're not even letting go completely of this situation. I mean, this situation is still coming up in my spread every single week and every single month. You could have already met this Ace of Wands if you had got rid of this person. Cancer. Yeah, you got to strengthen your connection with the divine. Trust the trust the universe has your best interest in mind, and they're also going to guide you to where you've got to go. But you need to get rid of whatever because at the moment you're not feeling very calm and peaceful and okay about the situation. You, it's yeah, it can cause you to just have horrible sleeps. Um, it can cause health issues. You need to overcome your challenges. You know. And then eventually you're going to let love in. You've got to get rid of this situation first, as I said. I feel like I lecture every time I do cancer. <laughs> but like I just, I'm, I'm so like wanting you to have that new start. That's why I'm so, I don't know what the word is. Okay, frustrated. Okay, cancer. You need to focus on your self-worth. You need to focus on taking some time to heal, um, doing all the kind of shadow work. The person that you were probably or people that you have been seeing or getting to know were probably a karmic relationship. There's something you have to learn from that experience because if you don't, you're going to keep repeating the cycle. And you've also got seduction, which once again is about them having a third party. You know? It's the same cards every single time. Um, so you've got they're possibly engaged, married. Um, yeah, it's like it's not completely done not complete they're not offering eternity it's not something that's going to ever last 
but you've got to heal your inner child and you've got to grow like a butterfly. You can't you go in as a caterpillar, come out as a butterfly. You've got to transform and evolve. Um, yeah, you need to grieve and mourn and, you know, move past all the feelings to do with that so you can then move on to your new, new as I said, you've even got the soulmate in reverse. It's like, and the spiritual union, same card, soulmate in reverse. They're not your person. None of these people are your people. Um, but, yeah, you might get some message from somebody who's telling you that they want to catch up for a coffee or, you know, they're interested in you or it's that new ace of wands. You've got to, yeah, you've got to close the chapter. That's all I've got to say. I mean, that keeps coming up, but close the chapter. too many um yeah it's like you're not accepting you're not you don't believe that everything is is the universe is making everything happen the way it's meant to um you also it's because you're not letting it go you know what i mean you need to stay hydrated that also helps um make sure you eat and drink and healthy and drink more water but Expect a miracle because, as I said, this Ace of Wands is coming. If you need help, get help to try and get rid of this people, person. There is a block feature on your phone, on Facebook, on social media, whatever. Get rid of these people. Get rid of this this, this person, whatever this is. Um, and maybe you've thought about doing alternative medicine or consulting some other kind of healing whether it's regarding the, the clearing of whatever this is or you maybe you need to look into that because there's so many ways. I mean, I can, if you need help, I mean, message me. I can tell you some ways to, I mean, even Google ways to, you know, cut ties with the past or if it's health related, you know, look into alternative treatments for that as well. Cancer. Yeah, you're not trusting your own heart. You're not you're not trusting your own feelings. You're not speaking your truth, knowing your truth. You're you're ignoring the truth. You're not trusting yourself to know that what your feelings you're getting are right. Um and you know, you don't believe, as I said, you don't believe that this the universe has your best interest and it's going to reveal the right path, but it will. You know, there is an ace of wands coming. You need to just spend some time on your body, mind, and spirit, whatever it is that makes you feel good. Rejuvenate yourself. Maybe go away and take some time by yourself. Yeah, you need to rest. You need to take some time away from all this crap um, and put up boundaries. You know, you're going to keep getting hurt because you've got no boundaries and you need to speak your truth. You need to say whatever it is you need to say and move on. You know, I mean, if you say, if I'm married and, you, you know, you say to me, are you married? I mean, if, if you're trying to cheat, you're not going to say yes, are you? So, I mean, what is the point? But at the same time, some people need to speak their truth and then say, look, I just don't think this is working. Please leave me alone and then move on. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Block. Cancel. I don't know why people these days think it makes them a bad person. It doesn't. It's all about what you need to do for you. You've got to have your best interest in mind because no one else does. Transformation, work on you, as I said. Self-love, self-worth. And stop going back and forth because you keep going back and forth with these same stupid people. Got to get some self-worth because you wouldn't be doing that if you did. You would see it like we see it. Like look at it from 
pretend that one of your friends is going through this situation. What advice would you give them? Pretty sure it would be the opposite of what you're doing. Okay, last card. Actually, we could do some romance with regards to the new new love as well. Cancer. Cancer. There's synchronicities. There are things that are going to show you the right way. You're probably just not seeing them. You need to ground yourself as well. Um, maybe go and walk, spend time in nature, walk on grass, hug a tree, have a salt bath. Um, look up grounding yourself. You can wear hematite. Um, I think smoky quartz was the other one. Um, look, into, look into all kinds of things. Maybe that's that alternative medicine I was talking about. Um, and... You know, you need to trust that the universe has your best interest in mind. As I said, that's on the bottom. Let's do some romance cards. Last lot for Cancer. Bring back Cancer. Anything more? Answer. Oop, just because I asked. Stay optimistic about your love life because just because it's been crap in the past doesn't mean it will be. Whatever is coming, this Ace of Wands is worth waiting for. Whatever's coming, just know that it's worth waiting for. Um, you're not loving yourself. You need to love yourself first before you can, as I said, work on you, transform you. Um, there's really no chemistry with the past people when you think about it maybe you just kind of put up with stuff or you were wondering whether you're really attracted to the person um yeah there's some healing of family issues that maybe haven't happened maybe something maybe you need to forgive your parents or there's something going on in the family and as i said i think this situation involves marriage so whether they weren't quite married or whether there's something to do with somebody else. Maybe they just weren't married yet. But you're going to have to make the effort, you know. You've got to know it is safe to love. Yeah, somebody's going to come in, but you need to release your ex. So, yeah, good. it's good cards, I mean, other than that. But, yeah, I mean, you've got to move on from this past person, seriously. Past people, past person, whatever this is, it's gone on long enough. Um, anyway, that's the reading for Cancer. If it does resonate, please like, share and subscribe. If you know a Cancer person, pass it on to them. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I will catch you for the weekly reading, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye.